Hi. Hello. I've just dribbled. What's the crap tonight? Just going to do a quick video on how to skin a fish and a quick simple way of cooking it. I'm not really that fussed about the meal. It's more just how easy fish is to cook and prepare. Okay. So, I've got a bit of trout here. I've already taken out the pin bones. You can use a pair of tweezers. You just feel up the up the, the flesh like up towards the tail and you'll feel them broken up. So and this is rock turbot. Now I've salted these beforehand because it firms up the flesh. Now, ideally I would have a flexible sharp knife but I don't have my fillet and knife with me handy so this is how you skinny fish. So towards the end of the tail you want to just So you get onto your board towards the end of the tail and you want to cut in at an angle and then holding your thumb and fingers over the, the end of the tail and pushing the, the blade at a sharp angle into the towards the skin and you want to wiggle the, the, the skin of the fish whilst moving your knife away and if your knife is nice and sharp as this one is it will cut through the fish as easy as that flesh off and you've got a beautifully skinned piece of fish all we want to do is just trim this up now you can't really use trout or salmon uh, in fish stock because it's oily fish so unfortunately your trimmings you could either blitz them up and use them in a mousse or you could just bin them. Right, so you've got your, your fish now you'll see it's a line right down the middle there so I'm going to just cut down it and portion the fish accordingly so I'm going to say just in half like that. And uh, cut this thin bit into smaller pieces and we'll get them nice and crispy. And I'm going to keep this fine and chunky. Uh, you could poach this like that, it's quite simple. And then the same with the rock turbot. You'll see there's a line where the stomach cavity was, so we're just going to trim that there. I'm just going to trim this bit of skirt, which would have been the around the fins and the gills. So that's that can be used for. Stock. So Liv Mobile just sent me this solar wireless battery pack. I'm excited. Let's see what's inside. And I'm just gonna trim that up as well as bone. We'll come back to that. So I'm gonna trim this. I cut this in half and into quarters as well. And all of this, I've just I've got some seasoned flour in there. That's basically the flour that I used for my southern fried chicken, so I might as well put it to use. And this bone is really getting on my nerves. So you get a, a nice heavy based pan on the stove at a medium to high heat. And we're going to put quite a bit of oil in here. Can you use any oil? Any oil, yeah, absolutely. Probably better with uh, veggie oil or, or even beef dripping. And all we do is, it's not like uh, breadcrumbs where you need to flour it and then stick bits to the breadcrumbs. We're just uh, getting a nice coating of this spiced flour mix. The biggest pieces, so we're gonna go in skin side first. Always away from you. So 
so it doesn't splash it. So gonna... We literally just uh, fry it for about two, three minutes either side. Uh, if that, we just want to get a nice crunchy coating on it and then drain it onto some kitchen paper. I'll do that. Okay, so the fish is cooked on one side. The fish slice on a pallet knife. And you want to just flip it over gently. And just put a little bit of colour in the fish. Just put in a small amount of butter. Now if you were doing flat fish, uh, you could use a lot less oil and just put in a small amount of butter and a squeeze of lemon in, it's as simple as that. In fact, I'll probably show you that with what's left in this. Right, so when the fish is almost cooked, and not, and I mean not quite, you don't want it to be cooked through. Remove it. Because the residual heat will keep cooking it. There's nothing worse than overcooked fish. Well, I'd imagine that you know, getting kicked in the bollocks with a steel toe cut boot would be pretty bad. Way of cooking. Nice, nice quick way of cooking fish, so. What's the mixture again? What, in here? Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember, it was like a buckwheat flour, which is gluten-free because you've got special needs. Um, and, what else? It's a ham stock cube, some Italian herbs, salt and pepper. All just crum crumbled up. And we can use that again, which I will, I'll just put that in the cupboard. Ooh. Is that a nice copperberg? That was a lovely Vibina. So, and the, the thinner fish gets nice and crispy on the one side. Flip it over. And that's a really nice thing to do with uh, flat fish, like I said, like lemon sole or place. minutes, a few seconds even for it, and you squeeze in the lime juice, or half a lime, and you can literally just eat it like that, it's a beautiful simple sauce to go with fish. So. So with the, the lime juice and the butter mixture there, you could just pour that straight over your fish, but I've got this lovely wild garlic pesto that I made yesterday. You could use standard basil pesto. So I'm going to put in about two spoonfuls. Just give it a quick mix through to get some more of that flavour from the pan. I'm just going to drizzle it over my fish. This isn't about looking good, this is about tasting good. So hopefully it's that as well. There we go. Nice, quick, easy supper. That is, took the longest. It smells divine. It smells garlicky, which is divine. <laughs> Happy crappy cougar!